The best way to sharpen an image is using Unsharp Mask, which you can find under Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. And what it does essentially is it takes a blurred image, a blurred copy of the image you have, puts it over it, and then merges the two together to fool your eye that it's actually sharper. And of course there's more to it, but that's what you need to know for this. You have amount, which is the amount percentage that's being sharpened, the percentage of how many pixels around each pixel is being looked at, and the overall threshold of colors and values that are available. What you want is you want these numbers pretty low and you want this number as high as possible. So you want to adjust them and by holding down you can zoom up on something, zoom up on your image and hold down over your preview here to see the differences. So as we jack this up a little bit, you can see that this is before and this is after. You can go a little bit further. Now you have to be careful with this in that if you push it too far, you'll make, let's say, the grain of the initial image too sharp, as you can see that, and it'll begin to pixelate. And you also want to do this with an image with higher resolution if possible, because this is just a 72 DPI image, it's having a little bit of problems. So I have to back off. You can also use this through selections. So what would be best, in fact, is to select the man and use Unsharp Mask, and use then just the face and use Unsharp Mask and just the tie and just the background itself because each of them will have different levels that you can uh, sharpen without it becoming obvious that you did so. You want to be careful not to push it too far and throw away too much data and you also want to look at what kind of image it is. An older image isn't in perfect focus. They're always a little bit soft so you'd want to take that into account. The Unsharp mask can also be used on smart channels, smart objects. So if I were to go to here and convert to a smart object and then go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. I can do this through here and this is where actually selecting little pieces of it and moving them and adjusting them individually would work out even better.